when we were here, I think it was last year, we were invited to meet with the governor of Kiandutu. Automatically, the governor said, I want to sign the MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, with the Kenyan Federation. And he also said, I want you to do the profiling of all the communities. Th that's the breakthrough, just for the governor to agree on that. It, it means what the Federation of Kenya is doing, it's sensible. It, it, it is something that is tangible. It, it is something that can, can make the policies in Kenya to be people-driven policies. Imagine if we, 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 we get the final results of Kandutu profiling and we identify several communities for enumeration. Imagine what kind of development we are going to have. Because when we have to have the enumeration, we should also identify priority projects. And then we have already done the, the practical example of uh, the pilot project of the toilet, public toilet, where there's the office and the caretaker's house and the place to meet, showing that the municipality have recognized what the federation people are doing for themselves. And they, they, they have recognized that people are now sick and tired of waiting for government to decide on how to do for them. But they are doing it on the ground to show government that if we are given space to debate, to engage, we can do it. If we can do given space to build our houses, we can do it. To build our own water and sanitation program or projects, we can do it. And it is happening. I think where the, the Kenyan Federation right now, it's like a mini government on its own. But it has, it has not to take over the government of Kenya because it will create tension between politicians and the leaders of the federation. But I think what needs to happen, the institutionalization of the federation within all spheres of government has to be recognized and has to be done because we, we, we are doing it on the ground as the federation. We are inviting one mayor and when the mayor go out of office, the next mayor come, Sometimes they don't buy in on what we have done. But if we are part of the govern governance, the municipal governance or the national governance, not sitting in the office, but coming together at regular basis and discussing what the federation wants to achieve, I think we can have a very, we are having a strong federation, but we can have more stronger by being officially written in black and white into the government's documents. If we are saying there's a forum that is taking place within the municipalities and the federation is part of the forum, that's one angle that we have to push for. And at the national level, if they are having like, for instance, the housing board, we should fight to have our people or one or two people to sit in the housing board to influence the policy that caters for the poor people themselves. I think I, I, I'm not aware that whether this process is already unfolding, but I would like us through SDI and the Federation of Kenya fight for that. Because even with the new urban agenda that is coming up from Habitat 3, they are talking about inclusive development, inclusive governance, and now it is time for us